If you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe at the bottom. And if you want to be notified when I post, click the bell. Enjoy. Okay, so right now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm using Slow Burn. And I'm going to be putting that in the creases to create my transition color. And the brush I'm using is a blending eyeshadow brush. Okay, so the color that I just used, or rather that I'm using now, is the brown for my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. And then I am going to go in with my NYX Pearl Eyeshadow Base. Before applying my ME910 from my Makeup Forever palette. Now I'm going in with my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to be using a blending brush to apply the color Blackout to the corner of my eyelids to blend in my transition color with the color on my billfold. Now I'm going in with my Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. The first one that I use is actually the Flared Black. I go in with two applications on each lash with those, or each set of lashes with those, with that one. And then I go in right behind it with my Blackest Black to give me thicker, fuller lashes and to add additional length. What I love about the falsies is that it works without having to wear fake lashes and it gives your eyes those that pop that we're always looking for to complete our look. After I finish applying my falsies, I'm going to actually bend my eyelashes upward some because I don't have an eyelash curler. I know, shame on me, right? Um, and then I'm going to grab my Physician Formulas Primer plus Argan Oil to prime my face and moisturize it all at the same time. What I love about this is not only is it a two-in-one, but it also glitter and shimmers. So even on days when I don't wear makeup, I would apply it to my face because I like the glow. It's like putting gold on your face. My LA Girl Orange Corrector. And then I'm going to go behind it with my LA Girl Warm Sand to cover up any dark spots or imperfections that I don't want to show through my foundation. I am using a disposable cosmetic wedge to blend in the orange corrector and the warm sand. And then after this, I will be applying my Maybelline number 355 Coconut Matte Poreless Foundation. Watching you as you feel like home, like a dream come true. Yeah, and if I taste your fear, oh, can I have a moment before I go? Throughout the video. 
video, you hear me playing snippets of two different songs. Um, both of them is the same young lady singing. That young lady happens to be my 14-year-old daughter. Um, I am always encouraging her to sing. I love her voice. She can sing across different genres and she makes the songs her own. And I don't think she understands how beautiful her voice is. So if you like what you hear, make sure you comment below so she can see it. I'm using to apply my foundation. As you notice, I'm dotting it across my face because I'm not trying to actually spread the product that I've already put on. But I am using a, it's like an all-in-one brush. Um, people use it for different things. I'm using mine for foundation because I like the consistency and how it spreads across my face. It's, my foundation spreads so wonderfully. I noticed that a lot of people use this foundation and you don't actually have to buy expensive everything to get great coverage. Earlier, I gave you incorrect information. I actually used toast to go in with my orange corrector. And now I'm applying warm sand to create my highlight. And then after that, I will be using mahogany to give me a dab of contouring. Um, to finish off my contouring, I will be using the True Radiance, Black Radiance True Complexion Palette, the contour from that. I am actually using a beauty blender that I got from Dollar General for about $1.50 to blend out my highlight and I will be using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend out my contour. I do spray my pink um, Beauty Blender with setting spray to help my concealer spray easier. The areas that you want to highlight tend to be the places where the sun hits your face the most. So under your eyes, the bridge of your nose, um, your forehead, the inside of your forehead, you know, your chin, your cupid's bow, and around the edges of your face. Also tends to be areas around those same places where the sun hits your face the least and tends to be a little darker and those that's how we determine how we contour and highlight some people have areas that they want to minimize so they contour more and some people have areas that they want to expand so they highlight more i use a blush brush to blend in my contour and then i actually go in with my no name palette that I got from Gorman's to add my pink blush to my face after I contour. If you haven't noticed, I tend to do circular motions with a lot of the things that I'm applying to my face. The reason being is because I don't want product to settle wherever I lay my brush. So circular motions causes the product to distribute a little bit more evenly, giving you less damage control when it comes to um, areas where you may have a little bit too much product. I'm actually using a small angled brush to apply the contour around my nose because that is one area that I do not want to put too much on. And I do like to kind of blend it out with my fingers sometimes, but today I am going to use my oval brush that I actually got from the beauty supplier. Open your someone. I use love. You look like a movie. I like a song. My God, this reminds me. Right in with my blush. Now I'm adding my BNI banana setting powder to the areas that I highlighted to set the powder. I'm sorry, not the powder, to set the product in place so that I don't develop creases 
um, and really shadowing throughout the day. And what by what I mean by shadowing is a lot of the times product likes to move and next thing you know, you see a peekaboo of your skin color where it's supposed to be a perfect highlight. I'm not really trying to do the whole baking process, but I do leave it on there while I go ahead and apply my blush. And then I take my Sephora brush and I dust off the excess powder and rub in whatever is remaining. in with my Milani foundation is because I have a red undertone it's a little bit red um, more along the lines um, of like the com it's not exactly my shade it's more of a blushy color so I go in behind it and I kind of go over the areas that I highlight it um, especially if I feel like my highlight has gotten way brighter than I wanted it to be it helps mellow it down and not cause me to have this weird look whenever I take a picture. Notice I went in with my Sephora. Um, I'm grabbing them now because I don't know their names by heart. Um, but one of them is my Stardust by Sephora. And the other one was my um, Tangerine Tease that I did to highlight my cheeks. I love it. Okay, so I am actually using a fan brush to complete the shimmery effect on my cheeks. And then after that, I am going to go in with my Lancome translucent powder to kind of go over the other areas of my face, especially the ones that I didn't set with the BNI. And after I finish that, I am going to go ahead and set my face with my Wet n Wild setting spray. Don't mind my powder brush. It got a little bit too close to my heater while drying. And yeah, so it has a new look. So now it's time to go ahead and set my face. I keep trying to go ahead of myself. But, and of course, like I said, I'm using the Wet n Wild setting spray. And I'm going to saturate my face, let that dry. And then I'm going to go back in with my Naked 2 palette using the color Blackout and taking my smudge brush and applying the Blackout underneath um, on my under eye to give myself a smudge effect. And then I am actually going to go back in with Slow Burn from my Urban Decay Electric palette to finish that look. Once I am done doing that, I will go in with Revolt from my Urban Decay Electric palette in the tear ducts of my eyes. Hey, now it is time for my lips. I will now be going in with Plump Potion for a glossy effect. Then I'm going over it with a purple slash violet eyeliner from Wet n Wild. And I will be finishing that look with my MAC lip glass in the color Lust. Everybody here is 
is watching you as you feel like home like a dream come true yeah and if I sense you here home and I have a moment Cause I've been by myself all night long. Open yourself. Okay, so I am finishing up with my eyes. Um, just so you know that the liner that I put on, it was Physician Formula um, Kajal. Um, but now I'm going in with my Plump Potion by Physician Formula to give my lips a plumper look. Plus add a lip gloss effect then i'm going to line it with a purple slash violet eyeliner by wet and wild and finishing that up with um on my inner lips the color lust by um, mac and it's a lip glass so while i'm sitting there blotting and finishing up my look i want to let you guys know that the hair i am wearing is by sister wick it is in the color 99j and the name of the wig is Tori. You can actually find it at um, the Beauty Supply. I didn't order it. Um, and I love it because I can turn it around, cut it. You can even curl it a little bit if you want to. But I love big hair. Um, aside from that, I want to thank everybody for, for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit like and subscribe below. And want to get notifications, make sure to hit that bell. And again, thank you guys. As always, have a wonderful day. I love you tonight, and I know you're not that time by my side. Keep going while you're leaving so soon. If the song that's better for you, if you're not here with me, or if it's not guaranteed, what is love? It just has to live. How are you? How are you doing? Why you got two pinkies? Can I have one? Can I have one? <laughs> you say no. Oh. All right. You can have your pinky. You say hi to mommy. No. Girl.